Hey, welcome back. This video is going to be about the cannibal in Miami. The first thing they have is the video of the Miami Herald building watching the street. What is your emergency now? Listen, there's a naked man on the MacArthur Causeway at the end of the causeway coming towards this Cane Boulevard. He is beating another man to a pulp, like on top of the man, beating him. The man is bleeding. So, somebody, somebody's beating on him? They got into the I'm, I'm a bus driver. I passed by and I saw what was happening. I pulled no, 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 over. Okay, this is, he's been beaten, you said? He's beating another man. It's a naked, oh, man, naked man beating naked. another man. I'm it's beating him. Man. Yeah, on the MacArthur Causeway, like towards the Miami Herald, it's at the end of the causeway. But he's going to kill that okay. man, I promise you. Hi, how you doing? I'm just reporting um, uh, this uh, naked uh, man uh, in front of the uh, Miami Herald building next to the highway. He's throwing his uh, clothes on the highway. Can't mess him, he's naked. Hey, these two bums who are going at it with each other take up the whole lane. I think they're fighting or something. They, they almost knocked over an old lady who was fighting by. It goes for like 23 minutes, the video does. What you see in the whole video is, first off, Rudy comes uh, walking into the camera butt naked, not no clothes on. And then uh, right at the edge of the tree there is where Papa was sitting, the 65-year-old homeless guy. Rudy shows up and commits to beating the shit out of him. And it goes on for like 18 minutes of the actual beating itself. Like I say, three people ride by. One, one of them rode up to the police car up the hill and told them, hey, back there, somebody's getting jacked up. So the cop rode down the off-ramp, and you can see that on the video, and it gets out. Rudy was on top of the 65-year-old guy, eating his face, actually swallowing some parts, throwing some off. The officer hollered him to stop. The cannibal turned around and growled at the officer, and he didn't stop, so he shot him once, and the police officer decided to, I think he did uh, four more shots after that. Upon that time, he was killed. I got a, I got a whole bunch of pictures of the crime scene and whatnot, but... And there ain't no way I can put them on YouTube. They're too gruesome. I got one here. It's blurred out. You can see the victim's top of his head, and he's still laying down. After the attack and after Rudy got shot, the guy was still out of it. And when EMS was there loading him up, he, he started freaking out, so they had to restrain him on the board and take him to the hospital. He's been... Uh, homeless for 30 years. He went to high school up in, I think it was New York or something, was a high honors private high school. And after that, he just kind of come up missing for 30 years. The sister thought he was dead for the 30 years, thought he killed himself. I think that's his only family he's got is his sister. And then Rudy, the cannibal, his girlfriend said he left at like 5 o'clock in the morning in a big hurry, rummaging through the closet and whatnot, and had, you know... It was odd to her, but she didn't say nothing. And uh, according to her, she, he's, he was been trying to quit smoking weed, and uh, went to go see one. According to her words, her home, his homeboys. So he ended up down at South Beach. His car broke down. It was in the police impound. It's a older style bubble cop car looking thing, Caprice Chevys. It's got a weird thing on the hood. According to some of the family members, somebody's Haitian somewhere, and the girlfriend thinks Rudy 
had somebody pull a voodoo curse on him or somebody shot him up with something. Maybe he's just jonesing for weed. You know, I'm thinking he's trying to quit smoking weed and he tried that spice stuff. So something happened. According to the girlfriend, he was, you know, took off at 5 in the morning and called him later saying his car broke down and he's walking. Someone else called the cops also about a black male running around throwing all his clothes off and acting like a fool, so they called the police. Why didn't they dispatch the dude up on top of the hill? He's sitting right there. He's right next to what they were talking about. So that's what some people are complaining about, that the cops didn't give a crap. It's more of a dispatcher thing, I think. I think the dispatcher decided it wasn't that important. It was some holiday weekend, too, down there, like a hip-hop fest or something. But according to the hospital, and I got pictures, too, it's pretty gross of the victim's face. All he's got left is his right eyeball is hanging by a thread, the top of the hairline, all the way back, and all he's got left is the bottom chin and neck. All that is just hamburger and solid blood. I mean, you can't see nothing. There's a big hole with a little bit of gristle sticking down where the nose was. You cannot see any eye socket over here on this side. And over here you got, like I say, this hanging other eyeball. It's pretty gross. I had like nightmares. He was shot once back in 1976 or something, or 78. So uh, being homeless ain't safe. You know, especially now just laying around in a underneath a viaduct in the shade, mind your own business, and somebody comes up and eats you. All right, anyway, that's all I'm saying. I'm shutting up. See you.